uh, I'm Engineer Fred Kirui, the Deputy Governor uh, for Kericho County. And I want to issue a statement. Uh, I've been uh, in the facility, or at the facility, uh, since morning, uh, going around uh, to establish that uh, our patients and also uh, people who are coming to seek uh, medical attentions are being uh, served well. And I want, before I make uh, my comment, to issue a press statement, which I'll, uh, which is for immediate release. So the county government of Kericho makes reference to the social media reports of alleged payment fraud, rampant corruption, and sex scandals at the Kericho County Referral Hospital. These are serious allegations which are criminal in nature and must be fully investigated to find out the truth in them. While the county government of Kericho does not condone any form of corruption and any other act contrary to the protection of human rights and dignity, we strongly believe that a section of social media activists are not keen to find out uh, the truth. It is sad and heartbreaking when someone brands such a high-rated institution of the status of Kirichon uh, referral, referral County Hospital as a den of corruption and a place that is a threat to patients and workers. However, this does not in any way imply that we are dismissing the allegation raised. We have already engaged the investigating agencies with an aim of unearthing the truth of the matter. Further, we wish to assure the members of the public that any county government official found to be engaging in any form of malpractices which either compromises on the delivery of service or theft of public funds will face the full force of the law. And this one also goes to the person or the people who are engaging both because there is the receiver and there is the sender. So both of them will face the full force of the law. We also wish to notify that the law will equally apply to the social media activists spreading such serious and damaging allegations. Should their reports be found to be false, we say this because as a responsible government, we will not allow a situation whereby our medical staff are subjected to unfair social media prosecution and judgment. However, we shall at the same time be uh, ready to prefer disciplinary action against any county staff doing contrary to the code of ethics and any other applicable laws governing public service. That's the end of my statement. Signed, Jimmy Fred Kirui, Deputy Governor, Kericho County. I want to state further that uh, our facility is operational and uh, currently we've automated nearly all the services. Once the patient comes to the county referral hospital, first of all they register. The payment is through M-Pesa and the M-Pesa uh, uh, agent number that we have is linked to our KCB account and we have our pay bill number and I want to assure the general public that all transactions we don't accept any form of cash we don't accept any other uh, pay bill number other than the pay bill number for the hospital which is uh, 5 uh, uh, 599 that is the only number that we use as a facility and if there is any other person who has any other number outside there, we are really ready to accept uh, such kind of allegations so that any uh, a form of corruption will be dealt with according to the law. We don't condone corruption and I want to assure the general public that this is a facility that is corruption free and anybody practicing any form of corruption should know that they are breaking the law and the full force of the law will be taken against them. Our CT scan, I think I have taken you as a, uh, for the state, 
We've seen that even when we reached there, there was a patient who was being uh, attended to. It is operational 24 hours. Our X-ray department is operational. We have the state-of-the-art facilities that does everything that is required by the doctors. And I want to assure the general public that the facilities that we have here is one of the best within the region. Even the private hospital within here do not have. They refer their patients here. So if such a facility as a lady is not working, it means we could have received so many complaints at the queue. But when we visited with you, there were no complaints. People are paying. And actually there is a service charter indicating the prices of each service that is offered is how much to be paid. Even at the city scan, everything is displayed. Nobody will be asked to pay less or more. It is just the amount that is indicated. So I'm asking our general public that uh, we are keen and I want to take this uh, opportunity to also thank our medical staff, starting with the CEC in charge of health, our CEO, uh, Dr. Cheruyot, and CEC, uh, and Ms. Brenda. We also have our medsu who is in charge of this facility, Dr. Langat, and his team. We also have our administrator, who is in charge of uh, uh, the non-medical staff, uh, that is administrator, uh, Matthew Sang. And we'll take action if there is any form of allegation. So it is not good to generalize. Uh, uh, and the security here, we've actually outsourced to a private company, which makes sure that in case there is any uh, report of anything that uh, even the patient uh, uh, disappears or anything, it is the security who will be responsible and answerable. So I want to assure the general public that our facility is very safe.